Alright, welcome to my second Let's Play video of Pokemon Ruby, or as I like to call it, Pokemon Awesome Edition. Anyways, when I left off, I had just got my first Pokemon, um, abusing the speed hack, uh, Torchic, named Kyle, the BA. Um, gotta talk to my mom now, because I'm a mama's boy. She gives me... What's she give me? She gives me shoes. I never got why you have to put on special shoes to run. I run in tennis shoes. and I run in slippers, for crying out loud. But... I guess that's what makes Pokemon Pokemon. is Random items that do random crap. What's up with the fire over there? It looks like there's fire on the grass where that boy's standing. He's lighting fires. Oh, it's a flower. It's creepy, though. Anyways. Now I can run. I run. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so our first order of business, seems how this is Ruby. And Ruby has abilities. Oh. Hold on. Gotta get rid of this Wurmple. And I do actually fight all of my wild battles. I don't know a lot of people who do that because it's boring. <laughs> But I do. And I am going to do a completion video um, where I catch every Pokemon in the game. Oh, he was Wurmple. And I am not going to give Wurmple a name. I'm only going to give nicknames to Pokemon that are actually going to be like Pokemon that I use throughout the game. Like main Pokemon for my party. Um, Talk to this chick, get a potion. Oh, if you don't know where all the hidden items are, I'll try to show you all the ones that I know about. They're really not that hidden. They're just in places people don't usually go out of their way to get. Anyways, buy some Pokeballs here. Buy 10 of them. For 2000 which I got $2,000 from my mother. Yeah, you buy 10 Pokeballs, you get a free Premier Bar. Just so you all know. It's a fortune for that one little Premier Ball, but I guess it's worth it. I don't know. Like I said, this game doesn't make sense on a lot of levels. But, I got two Pokemon. Go ahead and rest them all on them. I probably should have done a whole lot of this random crap off screen or something. But, oh well. Deposit little worm plea in that little box there. And continue with our quest. Now, there's not a whole lot of other stuff to do in that town, so just going to go ahead and continue. Now, before we continue. Uh, what I typically do in all my games, oh son of a gun, stupid wormples. What I do in most of my games is I hunt down those um, zigzagoons. Never Ruby I play. I hunt down tons of zigzagoons. Um, and as my party fills, I replace zigzagoons with main party Pokemon, so I, I typically end up with five Zigzagoons just hanging out in the, in the box. But it's actually a smart idea to catch a whole bunch of Zigzagoons. And I'll tell you why, they're gold mine with their pickup ability. And each one has a separate pickup ability. So yeah. Uh, go ahead and catch the Poochiana. You know, I try to try to mix up my team every time I play. That way, I don't have you know the same playthrough every time. But I never use any of these Pokemon like Poochyena or anything like that, just because like they just don't interest me. And there's one Zigzagoon. going on about Zigzagoon's ability anyways, um, 
Oh, son of a gun, you killed it, Kyle. You're right, I can't stay mad at you. You're so fuzzy and red. Haha, <laughs> another one. Maybe you're just good luck. You bring all the zigzagoons to me. But they have amazing ability, you see. After every battle, you have 10% chance of getting an item. And they have really good items, like... Right off the bat, you can get Ultra Balls, full Vistols, Gold Nuggets to sell for hundreds of Pokédoll. Thousands of Pokédolls. So, you know, having five of them gives you a 50% chance. And so on and so on. I'm gonna name them all Zed. Why? Because I can. So yeah, this part of the video is a little boring. I won't bore you all with it. Give me a second, I'll pause this. Alright, welcome back. I, uh, off screen caught all five Zeds. Because they are just so precious to me. Um, <laughs> four males and one female. And I also caught a C dot off screen. Uh, C dot's one of the uncommon Pokemon in Ruby that you can find in this this route right here, and various other routes. And we're ready for our first trainer battle with somebody who isn't our rival. Oh blah blah blah! Official Pokemon trainer. Can you be an unofficial Pokemon trainer? Anyways, here's youngster Calvin, and he has <gasps> a zigzagoon. Kyle doesn't care. Kyle, scratch his face off. Go, Kyle. Scratch. Scratch faces. Okay. Yes. Oh. Damn you, Kyle. You never do what I want you to do. Don't worry, before the end of this video game is over, you will be my little man whore. <laughs> oh, and this dude, he's a creepy bug collecting guy. Ah, a bug! Kill it, Kyle, kill it! Bite its face off! Or get tangled up in its string thank you for killing that thing and you grew to level 10 <gasps> oh fire mm, fire <laughs> yeah fire cow has fire <laughs> yeah, yeah fire so anyways yeah that's uh that's Kyle's Ember. He totally decimates with it. Uh, <laughs> and I steal your money for being creepy. <laughs> this little boy here. He's not very tall. And it grass goes up to his nose and he has a weird sneezing. He had a berry. What a berry eater. Speaking of berries... There's berries over here. And I don't know if my internal battery is working on this thing. But I'm not going to uh, risk it. Actually, I had to replace the batteries in my actual Ruby and Sapphire. Because I sold them to a friend who somehow ran down the internal battery. A battery that only runs when the game's not on. Well, I guess it runs while it's on, too, but not very much. You know, so I don't know how he ran down the battery, but he did. So, I had to replace them. Anyways, the reason I stopped doing stuff is because this video is coming to a close as well. Yeah, sad, sad day. But don't fear, little children. Kyle and I and my army of Zeds shall be back. Say goodbye, Kyle. You suck. 
stupid bird.